Okay, this video is not a, not a full tutorial. This is just a quick overview on um, Awesome Game. That's the name of the little project uh, I started about a week ago, a week and a half ago. Um, had a little bumpy start there, but we got some contributors. The game's moving along. Um, I had to close down the Cloud9 uh, collaboration. And the reason I closed that down was I didn't realize when I started using Cloud9, I thought that we uh, shared the code interface. I didn't realize that we shared the shell interface, which also gave people access to my private GitHub key so they could push changes to any of my projects. So I deleted that key and um, removed Cloud9. You can still use Cloud9 on your own, but I'm not collaborating with people there. Right now, if you want to contribute to the game, and by the way, that's I pulled down the first two videos because I just don't want to confuse people um, on where we were. So, Awesome Game is a simple little game uh, that, you know, I created something very quick and then just put it up and ask for people to help, and people have been helping. But if you want to help, this is how you do it. So you go to, to uh, github.com forward slash metalx1000, there should be a link in the description of this video to that. In fact, there'll be a direct link to Awesome Game. So if you go to my repositories, just, you know, if you go to metalx1000 on GitHub, go to repositories and search for Awesome Game or just use the link in the direct directory to get here. Now, obviously create an account on GitHub, uh, and when you come here, so this is, I'm logged in as myself over here, same page, but I'm logged in as a, another user I just made for this video. So what I can do here now, if I want to contribute to this game, I can say fork it, and right now it is making another copy of the entire project for this user to use. Now, you can use Git on your machine, if you're familiar with that, to pull down your fork, modify it, and when you make changes, you can do a new pull request. Um, but let's real quick look at editing something very simple uh, on, the, um, on the game right here. So, actually, let me do this uh, right here. We'll go into... JavaScript files, and I'm going to go into extras where I've uh, added a uh, jetpack that you can pick up. Right now, you pick it up and you can hit J and start flying. At this point, there's really no output for it. But when you pick it up, I want a little message to pop up and say, um, You got the jetpack or something like that. So let's go ahead and add that in. So, right in here, since it's a simple little change, I can do it right here in the web browser. I'm going to say, Edit this file. And we want it when you pick up the, the uh, jetpack. So, we're going to go under here, jetpack get. So, here, I'm going to add in a message function that I just created that anywhere in the game you can use. Type in MSG, and you type in the message. I'll just type in jetpack for now. And uh, optionally, you can set a number of seconds that the message will stay up on the screen. I can say five seconds, three seconds, two seconds. If I don't set that, it defaults to three seconds. So I'm just going to say uh, jetpack message, you know, message jetpack here. And then I can say what I did right here, give a brief description. I'm just going to say added message when jet pack picked up sure and we'll say commit so now I have modified my version of the game this fork of the game but it hasn't been put into the actual the, the main project so what I can do here is after I make my changes I can go back to my home screen here and I can say new pull request it shows the changes I've made here. It shows that I added this line here. And of course, I want to test things before I do a new pull request, but I'm just doing this as a quick example. I'm going to say create pull request. And right here it says a message. I can give a new message here, give some more detail if I want. Uh, and I'm just going to say create pull request. And it says this branch has no conflicts and we should be all set now. So now, me as the main user of the main project will receive a message saying that someone submitted a new pull request and I can go check it out 
And if I like the changes, I can confirm it. So let me go ahead and do that. So all I have to do is go back to my main account here, and I can see up here, I might have to refresh the page, but it says pull requests one. I can come here, I can go check out that project. If I like the changes, I can say merge pull request. I can uh, type a message if I need to, confirm merger. Well now those, that, those changes have been added to the main project. Let me go ahead and um, open up a terminal here. So I'm in my project that I've already uh, cloned to my local machine, but I'll go ahead and say git pull and pull down the new changes. Now I can go on my local machine right here and I can see the changes. So now if I go over here with our new little character that uh, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy something, I don't remember his username, added and I can pick up this pack and it says jetpack and then I can press J and I can now fly because I have a jetpack. Of course there's still work for me on that. I need to add a jetpack to the character when he's flying, give you a, a level bar so you know how much power you have in the jetpack and probably stop the animation of his feet when you're flying. But we have that message again. We'll refresh the page. I'll go over here. Pick up the little jetpack and jetpack. So that's the message we added. Uh, so that's it. I just wanted to give that quick, simple overview. So again, create an account on GitHub. Go to this project right here. Click fork. It will create a new copy for you. Then you can make the edits on the page if they're easy, but it's probably easier if you're familiar all with Git. And maybe I'll do a video on Git in the future. But you just basically Git clone uh, this address here. It'll make a local copy on your machine. You can push your changes back to your fork of it. And when you have it how you like it, you say new pull request. And then I'll get a message telling me there's a new pull request. And I can check it out and I can say, yes, I like those changes, we're going to add them in, or no, I don't, make these changes if you want them added, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so anyway, not an in-depth Git or GitHub tutorial, but enough to get you started, especially if you just want to add your own images. Let's say you, you're going to create some new tile maps or items for us to pick up in the game. You can pull this down, you can put those images in the resource folder, and then just commit that back. You don't even have to type code, or if you, if you make sound effects or music, you can do the same thing. You can fork it, pull down your copy to your machine, add uh, your sounds and music in, whatever you create, uh, or new fonts, and then you can push them back up. But of course, again, if uh, you're going to be committing stuff, make sure you have the rights to do so. Uh, no uh, music that we don't have the rights, or sound effects, or images that we don't have the rights to. Now, uh, I hope uh, to make the game in the future easy for people to, uh, well, obviously, you can always pull down your own code, but maybe within the game itself, load your own images. So let's say you do want to play the Super Mario music in the game. Uh, we won't have the Super Mario music in the actual game uh, files itself because we don't have the rights to it, but if you have a copy of the file yourself or a link to it online, um, maybe I will have it so you can load that music uh, with ease within the game. We'll see. I've done that sort of thing before with uh, Metal Bullets, if I remember correctly, which is the 3D shooter I made uh, like two years ago. Anyway, thanks for watching. Again, not in depth, just enough to get you started. If you're curious and want to add something, that is how you do it. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com. Also check out the links in the description to this project here. And I hope to see you guys adding stuff to the game. Thanks again to those who have added uh, and I hope that you have a great day.